doesn't wear his shiny suit or fly across the screen. He doesn't wear his underpants outside his jeans. He doesn't change in phone booths or climb up walls. He's 12 years old and he's four feet tall. And here he comes now. The new superhero. Here he comes now. It's Terry Dio. Terry Dio. Oh, 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 oh. Terry Dio. Terry Dio. We been too soft with the kid up to now. Remember, from now on, Curly, no more Mr. Nice Guy, huh? No doubt about it. Things were pretty bad. I'd been kidnapped, taken out to cow petting, tied up and dumped in some rotten little room for the night. What about my brother and sister? Where were they? Might be able to get some grub as well. Oh, well. Maybe they were having trouble somewhere else. The real trouble was from those guys that grabbed me. What a bunch of crims. They were up to no good. It had something to do with guns. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And even the local cop didn't know a thing about it. Hey, Doris. Oh, I didn't mention. They had bombs, too. Why do you want to stick this thing? Why not? Oh, just drop it anywhere. you pick up a bit, Doris, so I'll see you later, eh? Yeah. You idiot! What are you trying to do? Wake up the whole town? Come back here. I haven't finished with you yet. Ted, wake up. Did you hear that? I'm sure I heard an explosion. Mm. That's astonishing. Kid! Mm. There's something funny going on in this town. Mm. Morning already! on the phone. He said it's very urgent. The TAP was broken into last night and they got away with the entire week's takings. Oh. Really? What's only a dream? Probably those cheese and onion sandwiches we had. No, no, it's not that. I've just remembered. I've got three yards of concrete arriving at home this morning for the new drive. Which reminds me, duty calls. I'll take first crack at the bathroom. to be reglazing the window. Now, that's odd. Distinctly suspicious. You keep an eye on them while I look up windows in the manual. Hello. Vegas has come out. What's he doing? He's having a cup of coffee. Yes. He's yes. picking up a pair of... A pair of... Just put an egg on. Get it. 
making breakfast to the midget. He doesn't seem to be hungry. circuited the wires out in the alley. I think they must have poured acid or something on it and then they just bashed down the door. Uh, seems like this operation took some planning. Uh, These criminal mastermind types usually make a slip somewhere. Officer! Officer, we've lost our brother. Oh, look, I'll, look, I'll have you know that this is a felony investigation and takes precedence over mislaid brothers. But he's been kidnapped. Oh, boys will be born. They've got a potential obstruction situation here. Fred and I are going to reconstruct the crime. Well, what do you say? Oh, he's no good. They've had a big robbery and he's too busy. Right, right, we'll try again in the afternoon. <laughs> I reckon that's a pretty poor show. Show! Brilliant, Ted. We'll try the agricultural show. The whole town's there. Maybe Terry's been hidden in a gypsy caravan or something. Gypsy caravans? Hey? Step on it, Ted. Let's go. Oh. Great powers! It's the midget. The pieces are starting to come together. Yes. Yes? After him! <laughs>
Sí. You two. Which way did the kid on the bike go? Oh, he's with you, is he? Right, that's a uh, buck for him and uh, four bucks for you, please, Squire. Got change for a hundred then. Oh, uh, Choke it up your nose, you dozy cute. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You haven't by any chance uh, happened to have seen a little bloke on a bike pass through this way? Another lot, eh? Right, that's a buck for the kid, four bucks for the jag, and another four bucks for you jokers. That's, um... Nine, nine bucks altogether and no messing about or there'll be trouble. There's no need to take that attitude, sir. Norman, pass me a departmental payment form. The taxpayer can cover this one. Good morning. I suppose we should nip back and see that cop on him, huh? We ought to have finished that TAB business by now. But if we're going to check out this place at all, we ought to do it properly. You're right there, Paul. Absolutely bang on. I'll tell you what. We haven't checked out that hot dog stand and it looked for pretty... Stands! Under the stands by the main arena. Would make a great hideout for crooks. Good thinking, Ted. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Well, if you like, Paul. Hey, but what about that hot dog? First. Thank you so much. I think Mr. Grove would concede the vital importance of carrying out a surveillance operation on a full stomach. Thank you. Just put it down as miscellaneous expenses. Don't know how this is going to go down on top of those fish paste sandwiches. Blast! He must be hiding in the crowd. We better split up. We can cover more ground that way. Good idea, Cool. I'll take them sideshows over there. Now keep your eyes peeled. We'll see you back at the car in 20 minutes. I wasn't in there. A bit embarrassing, really. Proposal vis a vis of demic naive existentialism, Spud, but 
Oh. Yeah, isn't that one of them bleeds what we saw? The phenomenon of instant oh. perceptual closure, cousins. Have another drink, Jerry. Midget. He's he's infiltrating the calf competition. Wait, Jupiter. What infamy will they next contrive? Come on, Sonny. Bring your calf. We haven't got all day. But, oh, but I'm just holding the calf for it. Come on, son, don't be nervous. <laughs> well. I reckon we're just about done this place, Paul. Absolutely. It's well done. It's well done. Oh, congratulations. Well done, young man. Oh, don't be shy. Let's see who we are. <laughs> What's he doing there? He hasn't seen us! of fate, but this is the giddy limit. Where did he get to? He came this way. Have we lost him then? <laughs> Fancy that. He just vanished. I can't understand why he took off like that. What was he doing here, anyway? It must mean that he's still in trouble. And that means whoever kidnapped him in the first place is here, too. I don't think he saw us. Otherwise, he would have come in our direction. There's a chance he'll make it for the exit. Let's try it that way. Cool. Slow down a bit, will you? I'm getting the stitch. Oh. Oh. Gotta check up and down all these aisles. Oh, I've had it, mate. We'll never get him now. Ah, there's the answer. 
Here, grab one of these. We'll give the little twerp the runaround. Here. How do you work one of these things? Just twist the handle and follow me. Red Gravity's Rainbow. Struth! That joker came down hard. Ted, what on earth do you think you're doing? Oh, you go on, Paul. I'd better go see whether that bloke's all right. You know, Jerry, that looks an awful lot like your bike over there. That's what I was thinking. I think this warrants closer investigation. Tyrants. Quick to powers. First immediate acrobat and now a trick motorcyclist. Vegas must be up to something big. Something really big. Ugh. We must get off this thing at once. I'll try my department ID on them. Hey, you! Stop! He doesn't wear a shiny suit or fly across the screen. He doesn't wear his underpants outside his jeans. He doesn't change in phone booths or climb up walls. He's 12 years old and he's four feet tall. And here he comes now. The new superhero. Here he comes now. Terry Dio, Terry Dio. Oh, oh, oh. Bad guys tremble, evil doers shake. Cause messing with the tears is a big mistake. Sister Polly knows karate. She's the best. And brother Ted drives the fastest tow truck in the West. The new superhero. Here he comes now. It's Terry Dio, Terry Dio, uh oh, uh oh, Terry Dio, Terry Dio, uh oh, uh oh.